Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial video where I'm going to be showing you guys how to play uh, OG Xbox 360 on PC. And to do this, you are going to need a controller. Um, if you are going to be playing split screen, which yes, you can do that, you're going to need multiple controllers for however many split screens you're going to be playing. Because uh, for the Xbox 360, um, it is not actually mouse compatible because they made it specifically for controllers. Um, but yeah, here you guys go. So what you want to do is you want to go to the very first link into the description. You want to scroll down until you find assets where it'll have the, Z the Xenia Canary and Netplay. I made a small mistake here. Make sure you click the Xenia Canary Netplay WSA Send 2, not the Xenia Canary Netplay. What you want to do is you want to download this and then go to the second link into the description. Scroll down until you find TU75 undocumented update. You can choose whatever update you want, but I recommend choosing the most recent one, which is TU75, which is the aquatic update right before they quit updating the Xbox 360. If your friend or whoever you want to play with is on a separate update, you will not be able to join them. You want to download this one and then go to the third link into the description and download the base game. And then what you want to do is you want to grab the, Zen the Zenia Canary Netplay. You want to extract all into the same folder you have it. I recommend doing this in a folder where you're not going to forget where it is. And then go ahead and delete the zipped file. Then what you want to do is you want to open up the Zenia Canary Netplay. And then Create an online profile. You could use whatever name tag you want. Go to Netplay here at the top. Click IP address, Xenia Netplay. Click Netplay again. Network interfa interfaces. Click on Wi Fi or whatever you're using. If you're using an Ethernet cable, it'll say Ethernet, and you could go ahead and click that. Go to network mode, click Xbox Live, and then once you're done, go ahead and close this. Go to the Xenia Canary Netplay config. Open it in Notepad. You want to look for internal display resolution. Now, if you look on the right here, you're going to see a bunch of different resolutions. You want, what you want to do is you want to find whichever resolution you have. To do this, you could go to your settings, go to System, Display, Advanced Display, and you can see what else you have. I have 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz. Make sure you remember what refresh rate you have too. For me, it's 144. So right here, mine is number 16, 1920 by 1080. What you want to do is change this to whatever one yours is. And then look for frame rate. And then you don't have to change this one if you want to have it unlimited, set it to zero. But I recommend having it whatever your refresh rate is. For me, it's 144. Look for license mask. Change this to one. And then once you're done, go ahead to file, save, and then close out of it. Once you're done, open up the Xenia Canary Netplay. Go to File, Install Content. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find the file we downloaded earlier. And we're going to install this. This downloaded the base game for the Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. If you want to do the update, go to Install Content and click on the update you chose. And then go to File, click on Open, and then open the base game file. Once that's done, it should open Minecraft. Uh, press F11 to go full screen. your game freezes when you go to do something,
like mine did here. What you want to do is you want to close out, go to the Xenia Net Play, go to Profile, Show Profile Menu, Create a Profile. You want to turn off Xbox Live Enabled. You can make this whatever username you want because you're not going to be using it. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to right click on this, log out of our actual account, and then log into the offline mode. Make sure it's offline. Go ahead and press F9, which what, what it will do is it'll open up your most recent game you opened, which for me is Minecraft, F9. F11 to go full screen. And then once you're in, you can go play an online game. It'll ask you to sign into Xbox Live. If you wanna play with friends online and you're not doing split screen, go ahead and do connect to Xbox Live and then choose your profile that you made. Click OK, and then you should be able to join a mini game. Now, right here it says, um, connection failed, no suitable game can be found to join. Uh, this is because nobody is online on the Xenia servers. Um, however, if you have a friend online that's doing the same thing, um, you can create a lobby and they should be able to join you if you add them. To add a friend in the Xenia server, go to Profile, Show Profile Menu, Click right-click on your Xenia profile, go to Copy the, U copy the XUID online, go to Netplay, go to the Friends Manager, you can add a friend, and you can paste in your friend's UID. Now, I'm not playing with anyone right now, but if I was, I would copy theirs. They could send it to me, and then I could paste it into here, or just type it in manually, and then I could add them as a friend, and they could do the same for you. Once you're done, close, exit, and you should have your friends added, and you can join them through the friends tab. If you guys want custom skins uh, for you and your friends to use, go ahead and download a skin, whatever one you want. Go ahead and copy it. Go to your Xenia folder. Go to content. Top one, top one, top one, top one. Go to RES, mob, and go ahead and replace it with any, any skin you want here. You could choose. You copy the one that you want to replace. Go ahead and delete it. And then rename the skin you want to the name that, of the one that you just deleted. I'm not going to do this because I already have a custom skin downloaded. Once you've done that, go ahead and find the skin that you replaced and equip it. And that should be it. If you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial or if you have any problems, go ahead and uh, leave a comment. I'll be sure to reply to as many as I can. Uh, but yeah, other than that, do like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.